morning everyone it's uh, Monday after the farm show uh, back to regular normal work which uh, has been nice uh, since I started it's uh, been a couple days on a couple days off a uh, week where the training out in Saskatchewan farm show so uh, finally back to get to uh, to get some stuff that needs to get done here some sales some getting equipment ready for demos for the fall here um, so this morning, first thing, I ran into the office, uh, worked on a couple quotes that I needed to get out this morning. Um, and then just because of the way some of the logistics fell together for um, a couple of the other guys, um, I ended up, I'm taking the header cart over to Schulte Machinery here in Simcoe. Um, I've got a big 50-foot header cart that I get from Horse Welding uh, up in List, yeah, up in Listowel. And... Uh, Scholten's have our demo 40-foot Gehringhoff razor at their place after the farm show. Showed it to you in the in this last video. So they're flipping the adapter plate over for me today, and then the plan is tomorrow morning to run it over to the London store where the 7T Fent Ideal Combine is, and we're going to marry it up, get it calibrated, and get it ready to go. Um, there's a lot of guys starting beans today, um, and I'm hoping that we can get that combine in the field in the next a couple days depending on where people are for stuff around the London area um, being able to start so so I'm gonna do that and then on my way back over to the shop uh, I got to stop and see a, a good friend of mine works for uh, for a customer in Tilsonburg and he's looking at a, a new 14 ton excavator uh, so I've got that quoted out and I'm gonna stop and see him and, and have a chat from there, I'll head back over to the store. Um, we had a 930 FET tractor out on demo on the weekend, which I'd like to get over and get some video of and talk to the customer about. And then another customer's looking at a hay rake over that way too. So uh, lots going on. Um, but yeah, I'll uh, I'll show you Schultons when we get there. Um, he'll have a bunch of corn heads and some stuff sitting around and, uh, and just keep you up to date as to what's going on through this, throughout the day. So we got a bunch of heads in getting servicing done. Our big cart that we just dropped off. New head that just showed up, he was saying, folding. One of them might actually be ours. May stars, nope. And then they're working on some repairs and fabricating back over here. This is our head that they're just changing the adapter on. Well, it has finally arrived. Gehringhoff head has shown up. The boys are just sitting here getting the electronics put into it to be able to control. We'll be ready to cut beans by the end of the day. Pretty slick. Looking forward to running this rig here this year. Something different. This is a full flex draper. It's got a three section wing flex and then individual knife flex in between. In the words of Brian Brown, power ladder. We're rolling, headed up to just north of London. And uh, of course, one of the roads that we wanted to go up is out of service. So we're having to scoot over a little bit further than we normally would like to, but uh, it is what it is. So, um, so this is a 7T Ideal, and it has the Ideal drive in it. So it's the same joystick that uh, if you're watching the, 
Brian's farm videos, he's got the same joystick and uh, everyone asks how, how easy is it to get on and to be honest with you, I, I haven't had any issues at all. Um, in the field it's been awesome, but uh, on the road, as where everyone would think that it'd be a little bit sketchy, it, uh, it actually is not. I, uh, I don't know if this one is just dialed in really nice and it's smooth, but it, it just feels like you're driving a regular vehicle um, with it. So try and get a little bit of video of, of it running with it getting turned and everything like that. But uh, it's, uh, it's a pretty slick system. I would, uh, I would definitely consider putting it in anything that I ever bought. Um, you can sit back in the seat like I am right now and, and just relax. demo day we had a little bit of a stall with things yesterday just uh, didn't work out to finish the demo yesterday so we ended up coming back today and uh, we just finished the first field we had about 10 acres here that we just did and uh, they're just working their way back over here I think we'll probably put it back on the cart and then there's some beans right across the road long time customer of advantages here um, he's got a Massey combine and a bunch of Massey tractors. Got some really good video of them dumping on the go. So we're gonna move over there and uh, I'll, uh, I'll talk to you when we get over there. So right after that last footage, that was sort of the end of the demo for me. Um, myself and Matt Bowie, the other salesman, took off and, and headed home for the weekend. 
Uh, the combines were both full, the buggy was both full, waiting for a truck to get back. So they believe that they ended up dumping that and then just finished that field off. There was only about 20 acres left, so they finished it. And then uh, the first field and that field, they ended up getting planted into wheat on the weekend before the rain hit. So overall, great demo. Um, great guys to, to be out there to be able to play with for the first time. Um, hopefully able to, to, to play with some numbers for them to see if we can't find something used that uh, might fit their, their needs and budget. So we'll see what happens there. As for the other stuff we were talking about in the video, um, after going to Schultz, I went to that customer's. We talked about the excavator for a little bit and uh, he's really interested in it. We're going to try and work a demo that we can send out to him that he can play with uh, against the other competitive unit that he's looking at and, and actually be able to see what it can actually do rather than just sitting in the yard spinning around and, and digging a little bit of gravel. So, so that'll be good. That'll be fun coming up here probably in the next couple of weeks. Um, the hay rake that I was mentioning that uh, customer west of the store was looking at ended up getting that deal. So that was great. Um, there's a new uh, Kuhn GA9032 Plus going there. It's a twin rotor rake. Um, so pretty happy with that. They've got a used one coming back on trade. So if there's anybody looking for something like this, uh, make you a really good deal. Um, I'll put the information down in the comments here. If you're interested, shoot me up and uh, I'll try and get you, get you more information and some numbers. Um, Next week, we're hoping to get a 930 Fent tractor demo in. A uh, customer would like to run it on a manure tanker, so we'll try and run it out there, do a bunch of competitive comparisons with fuel, efficiencies, times, all that sort of stuff with the tanker to show that it, uh, it works really well. Um, but yeah, should be, uh, should be out next Friday, so keep an eye open for that. Um, hope you guys are enjoying these videos. I'm certainly having a blast being back doing them. And uh, yeah, if there's any questions or comments, throw them down in the bottom for me. Uh, hope you guys have a great week. And we'll talk to you next time. Thanks.